So is Columbia, South Carolina still an inexpensive place to live? But according to payscale.com, the average income for a resident here is actually $58,000 per year, and the median home price is only $290,000. Did you know that in 2019, Columbia, South Carolina was ranked number six in the top 25 least expensive cities to live and work in, at least according to businessstudents.net? But let's be honest, 2019 was almost three years ago, and a lot has changed since then. Home prices have been skyrocketing all over the place, and inflation is at an all-time high. So is Columbia, South Carolina still an inexpensive place to live? Let's take a look at how much it really cost to live in this area in 2022. But before we talk about cost, let's first talk about income, because that was something that came up in the comments on the last cost of living video I did here. With more and more jobs becoming remote or work from home, the average income of an area affects the affordability of goods and services less and less as people move from bigger cities and other states into the South Carolina area. But according to payscale.com, the average income for a resident here in Columbia, South Carolina is actually $58,000 per year, with the most popular occupations being an operations manager, a project manager, or an administrative assistance, with incomes ranging from $35,000 to $101,000. The most popular employers here in the South Carolina Midlands are the University of South Carolina, Midlands Technical College, and obviously, with it being the capital, the state of South Carolina itself. And for those veterans of you out there, the BAH rates here in Columbia, South Carolina for an E5 with dependents are right around $1,800 per month. By the way, if you're thinking about moving to or buying a home in this area, which you probably are if you're watching this video, Michelle and I are real estate agents with eXp Realty here in the Columbia, South Carolina Midlands, and we would love to help you find that perfect home for you and your family. So I put a link down in the description of this video so that you can get a customized list of homes that fits your needs without having to spend hours searching online and we can send those directly to your inbox. So go ahead and check out that link in the description for me. As we start to talk about what it costs to actually live in Columbia, South Carolina, it's actually 6% cheaper than the national average. It's 5.4% cheaper than Charleston, South Carolina. 18.1% cheaper than Monk's Corner, 18.1% cheaper than Mount Pleasant, 10.1% cheaper than Atlanta, Georgia, and 0.4% cheaper than Charlotte, North Carolina. Now where Columbia, South Carolina really doesn't shine is in the cost of food and utilities. We're actually 30% more expensive in food and utilities than the national average, with your average electric bill costing $221.46, and the average cell phone bill costing $200 and $34.70. Now, obviously, it's all gonna depend on how big your house is for the electricity and what type of cell phone plan that you use for your phone, but that is something to keep in mind. The average cost of groceries here in Columbia, South Carolina is actually 4% higher than the national average, with a loaf of bread costing you $3.62, a gallon of milk costing $2.32, a carton of eggs costing $1.64, and a hamburger costing around around $4.95. The cost of transportation is actually 17% lower than the national average, with your average cost of gas being $3.61 per gallon. Now let's talk about what's probably gonna be your biggest expense, no matter where you live, taxes. And yes, South Carolina does have state income taxes that can range anywhere from zero to 7%, depending on how much money you make. South Carolina also has a 6% sales tax on most goods and services, although there there are a few exceptions, and Columbia, South Carolina specifically, has its own city 1% sales tax. Luckily, Richland County does not have its own sales tax as well. As we take a look at property tax, South Carolina actually has some of the cheapest property taxes of any state, with the national average being 1.08%, and the Richland County and Columbia areas actually being just 0.8%. If you're a homeowner in the South Carolina Midlands, specifically in Richland County, you 
can expect to pay a 4% tax rate based off the market value of your home, for your primary residence at least. If you're buying a second home or an investment property, that's actually going to be more of a 6% tax rate. If you're a member of the armed forces stationed at one of the military installations here in South Carolina, or you're a South Carolina resident stationed elsewhere, you can also expect to enjoy that 4% tax rate. And I saved the best for last. Let's talk about the cost of housing here in the South Carolina Midlands. And what's really crazy is housing is actually 27% cheaper than the national average right here in Columbia, South Carolina. That's why this is an extremely attractive location for first time home buyers and investors, because you really can buy so much more home for your money. Even with the 20% increase we've seen in home prices over the past year, the average rents in this area are $885, but that's only half the story. Home prices are in a constant state of change from year to year and month to month. So if you wanna stay on top of the most current information when it comes to home prices, I encourage you to watch one of our monthly market reports that we put out by clicking the playlist that's on screen now.